Welcome back everyone. It's Cameron here over at Diode LED. I'm the training manager and today we're going to be talking about install. Primarily how to prepare for an installation. So the things you'll learn today is field cut versus factory assembly, a connection walkthrough, how to build a fixture, and even accessories. Things to keep in mind. Installation is a lot easier than you think. You just have to be prepared for it. Remember that you can have that finished product sent out to you to save you some time and energy in the field. And then that accessories make life easy. So factory assembly versus field assembly. You have build in the field, which is by far the most common option people usually go with. This is where you get your raw materials, you have them sent out to the job site, and then you do all the labor in field. You make the cuts on the channels, the accessories, the tape, you power it up with the driver, and boom, you have your finished product. But then you have factory assembly, maybe a more underutilized option. This is where you have the factory make all the cuts for the tape light and channel and add the accessories and the connections and then they ship it out to the job site. This makes the labor much less intensive but also puts the responsibility back on the manufacturer. So then you have your mix and match. This is where you rely on the manufacturer to have those soldered connections on the tape but then they send out the channels and the accessories in bulk and then you put it all together in the field. Walking through your connections, like most systems, you always start with the light. What type of tape light are you using? Are you using a two-wire system, a three-wire tunable white, a four-wire RGB, or maybe a five-wire RGBW? How far away is the tape light going to be installed from the driver? All things to think about. Maybe you're using a terminal block, or are you going to solder and field? The other part is drivers. What are you going to power this system with? Is it going to be 120 volt or is it going to be low voltage? Maybe it's 12 volt or 24 volt. And then the last thing is accessories. Are you going to be using splitters, timers, sensors? Are you going to be jumping around a corner and need an L connector? Or are you going to be going up a wall or down a wall? All things to consider when thinking accessories. So on the building a fixture, where do you start? We always recommend starting with the light. So for example, what do you need? 12 volts or 24 volts? A tight pitch or not? What type of CCT do you need? Do you need a high CRI or does it even matter? What's the lumens per foot? How long of a run do you need to go? All things to consider when trying to specify that tape light for the right project. So now on to building the skeleton of the fixture, channel profiles. Where are you going to house your tape light? How are you going to protect it? With channel extrusions, usually aluminum or plastic, is a great way to hide the tape light's glare, the dots, but also to protect it from dust and other microfibers. There is a channel for every application out there, but just remember it's something to think about when building a fixture. And on to the LED driver, really the heart of the fixture. So here's some things to think about though. What kind of input are you going to have? Is it going to be 120 volt or 110 volt? What kind of output are you going to have? 12 volt or 24 volt? Are you going to use a certain type of dimming protocol? Is it going to be dolly, zero to 10, ELV or triac? Also, what's the size? Do you need to have this fit in a very small cabinet or is this going to be exterior grade? Maybe where you need a NEMA 3R junction box. All things to think about. But remember, most failures in a system start with the driver. So make sure you choose the right driver for the right application. So now that you've chosen your light, your channel or extrusion, and your driver, you have your fixture. A great fixture is planned thoroughly, assembled correctly, and installed efficiently. So you built your fixture. Now you're in the field, you're ready to install, and you have your assembled fixture. What's next? Planning that insulation, making sure that you have the right accessory to take that insulation from good to magnificent. So like we said earlier, you have to plan ahead. You need to make sure you have your splitters, your wire clips, your sensors and timers out in the field ready to go for that insulation. And remember, you've decided you're gonna either do field assembly or factory assembly, you've walked through your connections, you built your fixture, and you made sure you chose all of the accessories needed for the insulation. But remember, all of these are really do the proper planning. Make sure you think ahead. Make sure you prepare for every installation. And with that, I'm Cameron. I'm the training manager over here at Diode LED. And until next time.